This demo shows how named trace configurations can be used to streamline tracing workflows. It starts with a runtime app, loading a web map that contains the data layers and tables of an electric utility network, as well as the utility network itself. Since this utility network supports query of trace configurations, we can go straight to the GEO database and query using fields like global ID, name, tag, or creator, and return a list of trace configurations. Each trace configuration can be used to create trace parameters, which will populate things like trace type, result type, traversability, and other parameters for a trace operation. This web map includes a subset of named trace configurations available in the GEO database. This subset was chosen by the web map author and is returned in the drop-down list on the trace tab. We'll select the trace configuration named downstream, which will perform a downstream trace. I'll pause the demo briefly so we can view the web map JSON with trace configurations showing the downstream option, the metadata of the downstream trace configuration, and properties that make up the configuration. This trace configuration, as shown, will return an element result and specifies medium voltage radial tier on the electric distribution domain network. It will stop traversability on an open device, includes containers and structures, and excludes barriers and content. As a starting location, we identify a three-phase circuit breaker on the electric distribution device. Since the configuration supports more than one terminal, we select the load side before running the trace. As barriers, we identify an underground three-phase low voltage and overhead three-phase medium voltage on the electric distribution line. Then we run the trace and select the features from this element trace result. The key here is a majority of the trace details, types, and parameters were predefined in the name trace configuration. The end user only had to provide a targeted set of inputs to run a relatively complicated trace. For more information, on the 100.11 release of ArcGIS Runtime, see the blog post at the link listed here, and check out the release notes for the Android, iOS, Qt, .NET, and Java SDKs.